Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com. Somebody just asked on my uh, tutorials uh, about getting this pumpkin head over to uh, iClone and being able to open and close the jaw. Okay, because it's it's got morphs and jaws. This is this is almost identical to what we just did with the horse, but we'll go over it with the pumpkin because, hey, who doesn't need a scary Halloween pumpkin? Okay, so this is the evil pumpkin head thing <laughs> from Daz, evil pumpkin. It, you couldn't be much more evil than that. And we just brought it in, and now we're going to go to export it. You, notice we're not going to do this through CC3. You can't do it through Character Creator. It has to be done through uh, 3D Exchange. So go here, and we export it. And we're going to export it as Evil Pumpkin Head. I've already done this once. And we're going to make sure we have all of the morphs that we want, because you want to, want to raise the eyebrows and do some up and down, eyes crossed and closed and weird stuff. So we need something that says Evil in front of it. So there we have. We have Evil. I'm going to export those rules. So we'll do that. Export those rules. So remember, again, what you have to always do is first thing uh, first, I'm going to bring this in. We're going to open this up. We're going to bring in the evil pumpkin head without uh, uh, a uh, rigging it. Okay. So the first thing, it's kind of a, a steps. So we had to do this with the horse too. You have to bring it in first here. Then we apply it to iClone. And this is going to bring in all the morphs over there to iClone. So this is the only way that you can get the morphs and then also get the rig. So now we got the morphs in here. And notice it's a prop right now because only props, uh, only, um, what am I trying to say? Only avatars can have bones. Props don't have bones. So we have the morphs here. And, and actually they're not here yet. In order to get them now, we have to go to modify and we have to go up here and we have to go to morph creator. Because you always have to do this to get the morphs actually to activate inside of iClone. And it's going to load up the morph creator. See, so you now it loads in all those morphs, and it says, "Yes, we definitely want to process all those." So there's all those morphs. So now we're going to send and replace this to iClone, and this will then replace all those morphs. You see, all those morphs are coming across over there. So now we have all the morphs in here. Now that we have the morphs in here, we, in order to open and close the mouth, we need the bone structure for that. So we go to Edit Exchange again. It's going to import it back in. And now we go, I'm trying to do this quick because this is, like I say, it's exactly the same as the horse. But hopefully it'll show you the, the differences. We go here, bump, pumpkin head, not bump, bumpkin head. And that's all we need to do there. We just, we just created it as a non-standard character. And bring it in, or non-human, I should say, non-human. I'm not standard. Apply it back to iClone. And so now what it's going to do is it's going to send this thing back, and now it sends it back as an avatar. So now we got in the scene itself, we have both the props, the evil pumpkin heads, and the avatars. Well, we don't need either of those. We can get rid of those. And so now the first thing we want to do is make sure we still have our morphs there. So we go to Morph Animator, let it load up, and yes, we still have all of our morphs, which is good. We didn't lose any of those morphs. We'll have uh, we'll do some a morphy thing on it here. We'll do uh, eye close. We'll do uh, we'll have maybe let's see. It comes up to here, and then we'll uh, say we'll, we'll set a key here for the eye close, and then we'll bring it to here. And then we'll close them. So you notice I, I set a key so it would stay open up till that up till that frame. So see, it would stay open to that frame. And then immediately as it closes, then the very next uh, frame or two, we'll, when it gets all the way there, 100, okay, then we'll, as soon as we have it at 100, we'll immediately have them open so it blinks, okay? So that's like that. So it just does like this. Oh, yeah. And then now we want to open the, the jaw. So to open the jaw, we edit the motion layer. And then we have the bones here, the motion layer. And we go here and we open the jaw. OK. And once again, if we if we want to start back here, we want to set a key with the jaw closed. So first have his jaw closed and then we come up here and then we bring his jaw back down again. And that's pretty scary. OK. And then that's about it. So that's how you can, uh, that should do it. So we do this and then, whoa, <laughs> except it's pretty quick. I would actually probably want to extend out those, uh, <laughs> those keys there a little bit, but I think you get the idea. So that's, that's how you get the morphs. You get the morphs first, then you change it to, uh, you change the rigging. So it brings over the rigging and then you can adjust the rigging. And there's, I don't know that there's anything other than uh, the jaw opening and closing. I'm not quite sure what the rest of these things do, or if there's anything you can actually do with this other than open to close the jaw. You can you can move the jaw from side to side, which is even creepier, Arr, like that. 
<laughs> okay, anyway, I think you get the idea. That's uh, that's how you do it. There is your evil pumpkin head for Halloween. And uh, I'll tell you, I might be using this myself. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you on the forums.